Today on the channel from the Masters Universe Revelations, we've got the Deluxe Edition Trap Jaw. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Masters of the Universe Revelations unboxing and review. And today at the table here, we've got one of my all-time favorites, we've got Trap Job. But remember, for all your Masters of the Universe needs and a whole lot more, hit up Entertainment Earth for this bad boy, as I'll put the link in the description down below, as that's where I picked this one up. They seem to be the first one to have this guy in stock, so I jumped all over it, swooped on in ordered me a trap jaw and of course we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel we're going to take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it we're going to unbox it we're going to talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there we're going to do some comparisons as well as once again we get a little bit of that two-in-one figure here as we did get triclops before he's uh, popping up at a lot of targets right now as you guys know or you get him at entertainment earth or any of the other places online retailers uh, but trap jaw another two-in-one as you got more of a classic trap jaw look with this one and then you got kind of the technological cult trap jaw you can convert this into and i think i'm going to play a little of that old patented long game i'm going to pick up another one of these down the road so i can display two versions so there you go let's take a look at the packaging on this guy first there he is big deluxe packaging as we've seen like i said with triclops uh, we saw it with what savage he-man uh, we saw we've seen it before we had the deluxe skeletor that was a little bit like this packaging not quite but a uh, very interesting master universe revelations packaging be cool to see where this line goes will we get another season of this show uh, it's anybody's guess at this point but you got master's universe revelations you've got trap jaw you got a lot of accessories as you need with trap jaw and trap jaw for me a favorite of all time uh, villains from the master universe for me i the original trap jaw as a small child absolutely love that figure i've loved everything since and of course we'll show some of that stuff in a little bit but we got the typical packaging art you get kind of the hieroglyph hieroglyphics up here you got masterverse of course big big window box on the side trap jaw evil and armed for combat it says right there and then you get some cartoon looks over here a little hair a hair too much cartoony for me uh, but still back there, you got some nice artwork at least. And then on the bottom, or the back, I should say, you got the cross cell, you got all that kind of stuff going on. You got big artwork. Look at that big fire, and he's firing off his hand there. We've got the blurb, of course, and let's read that blurb and see what's going on. 30 points of articulation with this bad boy. Trap Jaw. Half mortal, half machine, the sinister cyborg Trap Jaw made his name terrorizing Eternians. Armed with an array of deadly devices that attach to his mechanical arm, the man with the metal jaw serves Skeletor as an obedient weapon of destruction. With Skeletor gone, Trap Jaw serves as a new master now. Triclops of the technological cult worshipping motherboard. So there it is. Trap Jaw doing his thing. Just trying to find his way in life is really what he's trying to do. Got that patented kind of stone brick wall kind of going on back there. So we've seen that before. See you later. There it goes. Goodbye. All right. Now we get trap jaw in the old plastic prison. Looks like we do have some twist ties throughout. Of course we do. Why wouldn't we have twist ties everywhere? So there we go. We got that going on. Let's start yanking this stuff out. There it is. Gotta love these extra pieces. Even get an extra hand here. No fists with trap jaw. That's a miss. That's a miss. He should have some fists. I don't care what you say. Oh, come on. Come out. Come out and play. What are we doing? This is not coming out. Oh, it's buckled in. Man, they got to make everything so everything so difficult, don't they? They just do. that top piece and that. See you later. Goodbye. Oh, and then this is where the twist tie aspect comes in. Getting these guys out of the package. Always so much fun. Getting these twist ties, making a mess. You guys know how it goes. Yeah, one more on the hand. Can I get it? Tight squeeze. I have to flip them around here. Oh, there it is. I think we're free. I think we're free. There it is. See you later. Up high, over the top. Twist ties off to the side. Let's get down to Trap Jaw. Oh, baby. All right. Trap Jaw, what do you got? So I see this. I immediately know this is Trap Jaw. Oh, yeah. It's Trap Jaw all day long. Now, here is a huge gripe I had in the package. And we'll start at the head of Trap Jaw. He looks like a lizard. It does not look like my Trap Jaw in the face, how he is in the package here. 
He's got green kind of lizard skin is how he looks. Yes, he had green skin like that. I get it uh, on the face. You got the big teeth going on. You got the red mouth. But the tongue comes to a point like a lizard. The green skin makes you think lizard. It's lizard trap jaws, what you think. But I am happy to report that his uh, mouthpiece does come up so you can cover that mess. It looks a heck of a lot better. Still looks a hair goofy, but looks a lot better with this the, the little clap off, up. Clap up? Clap up. Yeah, we'll call it. That definitely looks better. Uh, the pink helmet, very iconic trap jaw. You even got the ring at the top of his head. When I was a kid, I had a lot of fun putting a string through here. He would be gliding through things. You can do that with this one, I'm happy to report. So I really do like that. Of course, we do got the blue skin from uh, on downward. Uh, very iconic blue skin, of course, with trap jaw. I like that as well. And then you get his mechanical arm. This looks fabulous. A fabulous mechanical arm on here. Uh, got all kinds of articulation. Even got the bicep swivel on the mechanical arm. You got an elbow that moves all the way over, all the way up. Of course, the pieces are removable. I would say this was always his most iconic weapon for me is the blaster cannon. But it just pulls off. Yep, just like a hand, basically. Pulls off, pulls on. Uh, then we'll talk about some of these weapons. Of course, the hook was another iconic one he had. Always enjoyed the hook, so you can put that on as well if you want to. And then you've got uh, more of a pincher clamp, which I don't remember. I guess he did have this. He had something like this. It's, it's a new interpretation of this, but we do have that as well. Uh, so you can really choose your own trap jaw adventure. You choose what items you want on his hand. Can I get this back in? Oh my gosh, it fights you a little bit. You gotta really work it in there. It takes some time, but they'll all go in. Uh, very tight joints, though. That's how we prefer our figures right out of the package, especially tight joints. You got the big diaphragm at the very top. You can get some movement out of that, and then you also have waist. You got two different ways you can kind of bend the body. Uh, I talked about the articulation. You got elbow articulation, double jointed, a little bit limited on this arm because of this forearm guard here. It does limit some of the articulation. Uh, especially with his big biceps going on. Nice shoulder joint here with the little, uh, uh, I don't know, it almost looks like you put a screwdriver in there, but it does uh, give him that mechanical feel throughout that we need with Trap Jaw. He does have his championship wrestling belt. He always wore, I always did prefer that. Uh, the nice thing about this belt, much like the other editions of Trap Jaw over the year, years, you can stick this in right there so you can have his things hanging on him. You guys know I'm a sucker for being able to put my accessories on my figures, storing everything on my figures. I always do appreciate that. So you can do that with Trap Jaw. Uh, very good. He does have another belt underneath this belt. So you guys keep in track at home. Then, of course, he's got Eternia's finest loincloth going on. They always have those going on. And then he's got kind of his catcher's mitt stuff. He's got his uh, guards there, his shin guards. Nice neon green. Really popping against the blue and the black, of course. Big double joint knees going on here he does have the knee guards these big ones that are in place i thought they were movable they are not uh, but you got a lot of articulation in these legs and then you got a big ball joint almost mcfarlane-esque with the big ball joint here at the ankles so a lot going on right there but i gotta say i really do as it sits right here i like this a lot more than i thought i would i just couldn't get past that lizard head but being able to move the jaw to close that really does help this figure. I wish in the package it looked a little bit better for mint on card people, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh, does he fit on a stand? Ringside stand? Of course he does. And that's what I use for my Masters of the Revelation figures. Have them all in these stands, make sure they don't fall, all that kind of fun stuff. But very, very good here. Some of the other accessories, we talked about the weapons. We do have an open hand, so he does have a gripping hand here, or you can put a open hand. Choose your own hand adventure, whatever you want to do with his hands, you got that. Then we get down to it where we got the whole motherboard aspect and all that kind of stuff going on. Uh, I guess we can put that on here right now. We'll see how easy this fits. So we got much like we had with Triclops, of course. You know, before we get too deep into this, we, always, we might as well compare him because I don't want to have to disrobe him twice. But you can compare this trap jaw. Here's the Masters Universe Origins Edition. Very classic inspired edition. The story, the one we know, the one we love, that is our trap jaw. And then my favorite trap jaw, still to this day, Masters of the Universe Classics trap jaw. Just an absolute fabulous figure right there. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But I like all trap jaw figures. Like I said, he was one of my favorites as a kid. Still one of my favorites right now, but there's a couple of different incarnations over the years. Uh, does his head pop off? Very easily should pop off, and it does like I figured it would. So we get this robe. Uh, we're going to build him like uh, he's going to be worshiping at the altar of the motherboard, of course. So we put this robe on him. going to be hard with this hook on, so you take that off, make it a little bit easier. 
Put that on there. Of course, it does Velcro. It is nice soft goods. Very nice soft goods here. Got a little bit of stretch to it as well, which is nice to make it tighter. Uh, we do appreciate that. Uh, you do have this belt, another belt. How many belts does this guy need? This is three belts on him. I guess you could take the other one off, uh, but I'm going to leave it on for now. Uh, this claps on just like any other belt we've seen from uh, wrestling to, to anything else under the sun. It is tough to clasp, though. Uh, then you pop this bad boy right over the top. And there it is. We're, we're putting the scene together. We might as well give him, we'll give him the hook with this one. How about uh, send hook, somebody once said. And I guess that's what we're going to do. We're going to send the hook in right now. And we'll pop the head on. I don't know, not, not as iconic as the traditional look, but if you're wanting to really play along in the Masters Universe Revelation series, uh, you got to do that. He can be worshiping at the altar of Motherboard. You bring his old friend in, uh, Triclops right here. We're, we're filling out that army as well. So I do have two of these Triclops. I will probably buy two of these Trap Jaws just to have, just to line up. And uh, it's just a very smart on Mattel's part, making people buy two because that's what it's doing. It's saying, oh, I need two of these guys. And that's exactly what's going to get me. I'm just going to play a little that long game, wait for these to hit target or something, wait for one of those 25% off, 25 off circle deals. I'll swoop in. I'll get another trap jaw when that moment comes. So let's play a little bit long game, I guess. But very, very cool. Uh, personally, I prefer him in his more traditional garb than this. But this is a moment in time, a moment from the series. I'm okay with it, and I think it is a neat idea. What do you guys think in the comments? You all in on this trap jaw? Not enough meat on the bone. Don't like it. Don't like the new series. Don't like the new toy lines. You guys tell me, but I think it's very passable and a very good figure for a modern release. Obviously, a lot cheaper price point than this bad boy on the Classics line, for sure, if you're looking for a larger size uh, version of Trap Job. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. Follow along on all the fun on Patreon. Get this video and a lot of other videos much, much earlier as a subscriber to the Patreon, of course. And then SirPaul64 is where you'll find me on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle, underscore Peterson, and ProWrestlingTees.com. Support the channel. Pick up a t-shirt. So for the Masters of the Universe Revelations line and Trap Jaw, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.